Okay, today's project is a 38 Chevrolet, and this one is the coupe, not the sedan, like Angie used to have, but uh, came in, had a radiator leak. Couldn't find it, so I took the radiator out, Took it over to West Virginia. They found that it actually had leaks in four spots. I don't know if the camera can see where they patched them up near the top. And before you ask, no, I did not cut the core support to get it out. It was already cut before I got here. So I just utilized what somebody else had already done. But I took it for a test drive See if the radiator was okay. And then I found something interesting. The gas line was actually split and spraying gas. When I shut the car off, it was filling the intake full of gas. So, yeah, she came in for a radiator but I believe we're gonna fix the gas line before we let it back out. Uh, burning the car down is probably not an entertaining option for the owner. But yeah, 38 Chevrolet, cool car. This is the same one we put the crate motor in two years ago and put the rack and pinion and the headlights. I still love these headlights. I might actually end up putting these same model headlights in the wife's car. Just got to talk her into it, but I really am digging the headlights. They look awesome. Okay, so we'll get the gas line fixed. Uh, wait till I get me some help and... I will put the wet noodle of a hood. If you've never picked up a hood from a 38 Chevrolet or a 37, um, they basically pick up and fold like a wet noodle and you need about four people to get the thing back on the car. So yeah, wait till I get some help here and we'll put the hood back on, but it was a good thing the hood wasn't on it. I would have never found the gas leak till the flames erupted. All right, y'all stay tuned. Okay, so the gas hose on the 38? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was split. As you can see, it was right behind the clamp and maybe the dry rod split, whatever, but she was spraying fuel pretty good, yeah. I sure am glad we found that before we sent it home. There he goes. Another happy customer. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for today.